Okay. All right, let's call the meeting. Uh, Seven o'clock. Welcome everyone. Uh, a bit short staff this evening, but we will attempt to plug along. I'll move for the adoption of the minutes of August twentieth, uh, two thousand seventeen, as amended. Um, what we? I didn't see an amendment on there. Um, but anyway, was it oh, something was, about the Clifton Cemetery and the the number one was there? Okay, is it I just <laughs> it just kind of came and then it went. I'll second the motion. Well, you have to move first. I, I thought I just heard. Uh, did you move? I moved. Okay, I'm sorry. Yeah. Move and second. Any further discussion? Hearing none, may we vote, please? Mr. Hollister. Yes. Uh, Mr. Meacher. Yes. Mr. Crockett. Yes. Uh, no, this, these doors are locked. I don't know. I thought I opened it. <coughs> you can't lock that. It was open. It wasn't. At least not for me. <laughs> nothing personal, Rachel. I don't take it personal. No, I just changed out of my hot, dirty clothes and didn't change my feet. <laughs> okay, and then... Uh, I will entertain a motion to pay the uh, bills in the amount of $28,392.58. I'm going to generate from the general, generate from the general fund $6,082.25. Fire fund $14,730.62. Cemetery $88.16. EMS billing $5,034.50. Road bridge $2457.05. Capital projects zero. Is there a motion? I so move. I'll second that. <coughs> I, I do have a question. Okay. This, uh, this, this is the time. This is in the category of my learning curve. Um, <coughs> uh, there, there was a there's a specific purchase uh, for a. HP colored laser jet thingy, get, get, get tech. Uh -huh. That was repaired to their copy machine upstairs. So it's an existing. Mm -hmm. Yeah, yeah, expensive, $1,400. Yeah, repair people had to come and bring new colors and put it in. It's a big, fancy, multi-color um, machine. How to self-serve <laughs> this time. Well, there must have been something else because they just they can replace the toner, the cartridges themselves. Yeah. Something, was, something else was there, going yeah, on. The, yeah, the uh, invoice had the details. How do we handle? How is? I mean, that's that, I mean that was almost fifteen hundred dollars. Yeah. How is something like that handled in terms of someone looking at it and going, "Whoa, uh, okay, here's our annual budget. And this is what's going on." Who, who authorizes it? Well, the department heads are authorized repairs uh, of their equipment up to a certain amount of money. So, okay. That machine is probably how many years old? It's it's not brand new by any means. I mean, I'm not surprised. The toner alone, the, the no, toner cartridges are so no, expensive. We don't lease it. We why don't why do we have a color? What is the firehouse? What is the color pen? Oh, they make. Zillions of handouts for training and for promotions and for this and that. And well, my, my main my main question was the sort of per purchase order authorizations, and you answered it. So. Well, it was purchased under a blanket purchase order, mm -hmm. you know, yeah. long, you know, in that category, whichever it was paid for, operating supplies or repair and maintenance, right, or maintenance was what we something did. like that. But so I it mean, didn't exceed. You know, it didn't exceed the amount mm -hmm. in that expenditure uh, category. And Colin will usually ask the board if he wants to spend more. Is it five thousand dollars? It's twenty five hundred. Yeah. Uh, if you know, on something that isn't a necessity necessarily. Well, right? that that was exactly what I wanted. Yeah. Mm -hmm. okay. Any further questions? Hearing none, may we vote, please? Mr. Crockett. Yes. Mr. Hollister. Yes. Mr. Meacher. Yes. We'll go through briefly the correspondence that's there. Not so many people here, and you know, it may not be as important to uh, <laughs> those who are. So, we have a uh, Township Association dinner next Tuesday announcement. Uh, I RSVP for all of us 
um, other than Margaret, and hopefully we'll all go together and have enjoy a nice evening. Uh, OTA monthly newsletter, perhaps it's clipping the League of Women Voters newsletter. Uh, county Auditor budget hearing schedule, which is tomorrow 9 15 a.m. Um, Fiscal Officer and Trustee Hollister will be going to that. Um, 2019 <coughs> alternate allocation. Um, it, I believe it's just about where it was supposed to be. Um, notice that from the county auditor regarding real estate assessment fees. Margaret, you might be able to explain that because I couldn't I was, exactly know what that was. Yeah, I, I think it's it's the fees that they charge us when they collect. You know, when they when they collect those monies, and that, um, that it's like the twice a year tax real estate tax elements. Yeah, they take there's, a little there's always the a charge. Mm -hmm. Yep, there's a charge for that, and um, I think that's what they're referring to. I'll ask them tomorrow. Breath on that. Uh, ODNR grant information for parks. We're kind of short on parks. Um, Green County Public Health <coughs> mail proposal, pro proposal from DMS. Uh, it's not. Uh, it's not ready for purview yet. It's just. It's too wide of an area. We've got to. I'm going to meet with a guy and, and cut it down. Um, it's way up into Springfield. We don't need to go that far. Uh, RPCC meeting for. Um, uh, for yeah, I did not see that. Piece of paper on the table. Okay. Do, do you know? I, I just I did the, the over. Date? I just did the over. Or, uh, the announcement sheet. I didn't put the proposal in it, just because it wasn't act. You know, it wasn't legit. Yeah. It just came today. Do we have a date yet? No. Oh, okay. A date for. For the annual dinner. Spring dinner. Oh. Okay. I thought we were back to. Mm -hmm. MVR. Yeah, no, I was looking at MVRPC annual spring dinner. Yeah, it's <laughs> April. <laughs> April something. Or okay. I didn't see it. So. Um, In invocation by, believe it or not, second vice chair of future. <laughs> so what's so up? Second what's, vice what's, chair. Uh, what's he doesn't that? know the date. Oh well, I'll be first vice chair by then. What's the DMS? Um, Inc. DMS Inc. is the uh, potential postcard mailing to all residents outside of the Village of Yellow Springs, announcing the ability to search burial. Uh, records okay. for the cemeteries. Is that that letter was in there? Mm -hmm. It's a place that But the proposal up, wasn't. And it publishing. That's what they are. Yeah. But I don't think I include the proposal just mm -hmm. because it really wasn't accurate yet. Mm -hmm. uh, Ohio Cemetery Association's Fall Maintenance Semin Seminar announcement that apparently uh, Trustee Hollister and myself will be attending. On, uh, October 2nd, I do have the date for that. Uh, the Spoon Fall Maintenance Fall Meeting Announcement, that's um, a long ways away. I don't think anybody be going for that. I think it's a that's, uh, that's mills, mm -hmm. water mills. Mm -hmm. uh, email regarding a permanent address request in a Margaret you? That okay. was, that was um, Dodonna. Oh, okay. All right, that was different. We'll, yeah, we can go with that real quick in, in the cemeteries. Um, email about the Wise Clifton connector. Uh, we might as well just briefly say that uh, that letter went out and and uh, a, a nice display was put up at the Clifton Arts and Music Festival. I don't know if anybody saw it, but I stopped by. We uh, we manned that booth best we could with the personnel we had. Uh, had a lot of positive, a lot of positive response. Um, very encouraging. Some negative, for certainly expected, but uh, overwhelming response was positive. We're going to have a booth in uh, uh, the street fair here in October, also. So we'll see how that goes. Director um, of Forest Cemetery Project. That's from uh, a uh, high school history teacher here in Yellow Springs. He uh, made a request that uh, we work with uh, he and his uh, class history class to identify, you know, allow the students to identify specific veterans monuments and then do historical research on the veteran and create a virtual reality something of either the cemetery or the actual veteran himself. I'm not sure, I got a little complicated <laughs> there. And then they're gonna make a website and have all these virtual reality tours on it and very ambitious project. It, and it sounded to me uh, like you know, 
I'm imagining a high school student doing this. Really kind of exciting if it could be structured in a way that people could add to it in the future. Yeah, well, he, he wanted to know whether it would be possible uh, if they got to that point, if they could uh, link it somehow to our township website, you know, with, with the cemeteries, so then people could access what the project was. So is that possible? Oh, sure. Mm -hmm. Everything's possible. Don't you know the big sign that says, with money, all things possible? <laughs> the Kasich's office. Half cash. Okay, um, so that's uh, that's ongoing. That doesn't even, that doesn't even start till March, but we kind of just made a little groundwork. I sent them a list of them, uh, the veterans list of, of all the veterans in Glen Forest Cemetery from, the, from our software, and he was excited about that. Uh, information packet from Len Lease. I think we've talked about Len Lease, our friends. I now know their name, yeah. and I copy down the the salesman's information, which they gave a lot of, and a little bit from Len. Lend lease, and I'm um, composing letters to both, just questioning how they plan to, to honestly make leases with people if they can't actually right. build well, good. under our zone. I'll, I'll be looking forward to the responses that you get. <laughs> your report about it. So you are going to send a letter? Yeah, I, I just saw those letters on the table mm -hmm. yesterday, and I'm. Don't jump. Think about this carefully. But as I say, the, the name and, and email is for the salesman, not the company. Mm -hmm. there, so I'm not sure that that, that person will, will be able to answer what I'm asking. On the other hand, the company only gives an address. No no phone, no email. Hmm. So we'll see. Oh, not but, even an email. Not, not even but, an email. But my recollection of what... Uh, your understanding of the zoning code is, is this this is construction, this is right. not, no. and not what agricultural I'm use of land. If you write them a letter land. saying that, mm -hmm. how do you how are you planning to reconcile that fact since you're sitting here even sending to the trustees, <laughs> you know, saying we want four hundred more acres possibly in Miami Township. And we'll pay this much per acre. Yeah. Okay. To be continued. Uh, information from Mary Ask Wilder uh, Welding, uh, email from a, a MVRPC about a storm table management round, round table. I plan to go to that. All right. Uh, email from um, Trails Transform America. What's, what's Brian's trails? What's his operation? How's his, rails yeah. to Trails. Rails to Trails. I was trying to pick that. <laughs> about a, uh, uh, a program coming up September 8th, and I'm not sure whether it's I know it's for the public, but I'm not sure how general the general public. So I've seen like it. I've seen it advertised on Facebook. Is that right? Okay. Well, it's in general. If it's on Facebook, then it's legit. Uh, email versus uh, uh, regard versus regarding the uh, uh, Economic Sustainability Commission meeting that uh, Mark Crockett will not be attending tonight uh, as we speak. <laughs> Plus, not two places at once, are you? No. Okay, just check. Uh, email from Community Solutions regarding putting, putting down roots. Uh, it's kind of a double entendre, or what's that mm -hmm. be called? It's kind of cute, though. Uh, email from MSA regarding the USDA review uh, for 828 minutes, fire station, storm shelter, kind of a bundle. Uh, I guess we could spend two minutes to talk about that in the firehouse department report. Fund status, review status, appropriation status for today. Any further correspondence, in or out? No. We'll move along to uh, fire department. Um, fire department, uh, Colin is busy preparing for the 911 stair climb Saturday morning and uh, trying to uh, get Kelly Hall. Uh, but don't, don't use to a little perspective. There was a fire yeah. and there will be some kind of report. There will be, but it won't be tonight. Yeah. yeah. So, does anybody have anything other than? That generic fire fire report. No, okay. New firehouse report. Um, basically, the only thing is is MSA is uh, producing uh, uh, bid drawings and bid specifications to go out October second. Um, although prior to that, and I believe that's beginning next week, 
they are committed to finalizing those to the point where they will forward them to USDA uh, for their review, which they have to do with everything that we do um, in the ones in Columbus. Uh, and they have, it was next week, they have until October 2nd, so that's like two and a half weeks, and Ashley Kelly believes that that can be accomplished, no problem, so then they'll get approved by the time the bids go out. That means, that means starting October 2nd, the, the bids will be publicized. Correct. They will be publicized um, every Tuesday for th for, four, for four Tuesdays, and then we will open the bids so when we get them, <laughs> very optimistic about this, uh, we will open them October 30th uh, in a special meeting here at 2 o'clock in the afternoon. There will be another uh, bidders meeting on site uh, the 16th of October. And I don't remember the time because there was some conflict from somebody. It will be advertised in the uh, Dayton Daily News, the Columbus Dispatch, and the Cincinnati Inquirer. And um, I know MSA has access to the, to, it's, it's not the Don report, it's a, it's a special. Uh, yeah, Don's. Is that what it is? Yeah, I think that's right. So it will go with all of those. For those periods of time, so well, well spread around. So we'll look forward to that happening. Uh, there was a small, there was a small notice, a notification from um, Dan Montgomery that uh, the they just learned that uh, whoever's in charge of it is is uh, requiring that there is hot and cold. Maybe I think it's, I'm not sure whether it's hot and cold running water to the uh, tornado shelter. I think it's just uh, Is it just water or is it flushing? Flushing water? Yeah. So hot and cold flushing? No, just so it would be cold water to flush mm -hmm. the toilet inside the tornado shelter um, that we have to go. Mm -hmm. <laughs> I did once yeah. find a house by the way that had hot water going to the toilet. <laughs> Nice. <laughs> so he feels that it's going to it's going to cost us a couple of bucks, but um, it will be offset by uh, yeah. What was it? By the by going with four man toilets because the the water pressure from the tank would not be enough to um, handle wall mounting. Oh yeah, right. So uh, the cost saving will offset the, uh, mm -hmm. the cost of the tank, at least that's... And I don't know if that was a conversation, because he talked me on, called me on the phone mm -hmm. once when I was at the grocery store and was all excited about <laughs> saving, you know, an additional $3,000, that's not jump change, by taking the thermostats out of the conference room for the fire chief Mm -hmm. and the thermostat out of the conference room for the trustees and mm -hmm. just putting them together with the thermostat that's in the chief's office and the thermostat that's in the trustee's office. <laughs> and I said, for $3,000, we can live with five feet away, you know, mm -hmm. um, thermostatically controlled. <coughs> yeah. Good. Yes. Okay, so enough for the fire department, enough for the fire department. No. I have a question about the, what was the date of the on-site meeting? The 16th of October. It's either 10 or 2, and I'm not sure which. All right, so anything further regarding the firehouse? We the cemetery. Oh, we are moving right along. Mm -hmm. um, the only thing I had about the cemetery, that obviously Dan's not here this evening. He, uh, he was a little, he wasn't overcome, I'm just affected by the heat today. It was, it bothered him. And he's usually not bothered by the heat, so um, mm -hmm. uh, I hope there's not something else bothering him. But he'll be back at it tomorrow. Um, for basically for Margaret's information, if I did, I don't think I told you, but these three graves that we've been flipping around to this lady. Mm -hmm. Yeah, Mrs. Mm -hmm. Madonna. Mm -hmm. um, 
what we ended up deciding to do was we traded her equally equal for these three squished in grains. I'm calling yeah. squished in because you can't have a headstone and you can't have a footstone. You can have a flat stone if you require because they block other people's headstones and footstones. We're trading those three that she wanted in those spots for three regular saleable grains that she owns right in the exact same location, but just not where she exactly wanted them. So we now have eighteen hundred dollars worth of grades to sell. That's what I'm saying. Well, those three so the grades. D, are, the, I did rewrite a D and mm -hmm. had a third. Right, a third plot. Third A plot. One A, two A, three. Right. It, so is that still legit? Yes, that's I did, still. I did see a note on on there that you had explained that she could do a um, flat stone. Flat stone. And that's and, uh, it. Yeah. yeah. Uh, but we have taken back her three deeded graves in the same lot, numbers five, six, and seven. Okay. So they're now available for sale. All right. So um, she's happy. Very. We're happy. She, she sent a nice note. Yes. Mm -hmm. And she also said, good, uh, good idea, good message. Yeah, smiles and hugs. Mm -hmm. <laughs> uh, all right, anything else for the uh, cemetery or the road? Dan did mention today, he stopped me out of for a second, he looked kind of just bedraggled, but mm -hmm. he said there's been a, there's been several barrels since the last meeting. Mm -hmm. He didn't say how many, but it's, he's been busy. They've yeah. been busy. Yeah, there was one yesterday and one today. One on Sunday, no, just it's been busy. All right, so we shall move to the fist officers portion of the evening. We don't have any road, road, road conversation? Nope. Oh, I just have yet another amendment of permanent appropriations. And Don, for your, for your, uh, you know, for your learning curve, this, towards this time of the year, it just happens all the time. Because, you know, we do our best to guess how much we're going to need in each fund, and lots of times we're just short here and there by, sometimes it's going to be like a couple bucks, and I can't just, I can't change that number unless we do this resolution, which is resolution 2018-40. Whereas it is an ongoing process to accurately appropriate funds according to the needs of the township, now therefore the trustees authorize uh, the amendment to the following permanent appropriation. In the general fund, I increased uh, contracted services by $400. And in my township trustees authorize this officer to do so immediately. Is, is there a motion to adopt resolution 2018-40? I so move. Second, thanks, Charles. Move the second, say further discussion regarding that adoption. Hearing none, maybe vote, please. Mr. Meacher? Yes. Mr. Crockett? Yes. Mr. Hollister? Yes. I believe we've, um, the last, uh, pay, the last charge to the 2016-17 audit was received and we paid for it today at $8.20. I'm not really sure if that was quarter of an hour or what it didn't specify what it was for but I think so that audit is completely done and paid for. Say so that. state auditor <laughs> sent a bill for eight dollars and didn't specify what it was for. No, you should ask them. How much do you think it cost to generate that bill and send it out? I am yeah. And what it will cost to process the payment. What it Why inquiry? Well on taxes that what is it, a dollar if it's more you know, to pull mm -hmm. with it. Thank you. Eight dollars. Eight dollars, I guess, is still worth it. Is that a complete report? 100%? That is, we already just mentioned that the, the uh, 2019 tax budget hearing is tomorrow morning. Mm -hmm. And so that's it. Excellent. Thank you very much for that complete report. You're welcome. Mm -hmm. Mayor's off. In, in keeping up with the speedy meeting, I, I haven't issued any permits since I saw you last. The Zoning Commission decided not to meet in September. I don't know exactly why, um, but they, they, I mean not in August, but they have promised to meet in September because they're scheduled not to meet in October because of harvest. So we'll, we'll see what happens. Um, the, we already talked about the little bit of news having to do with, uh, with the solar farms. Um, is there any, 
I don't know what to say, feeling in, in, in the township, on the trustees, that we should be doing our share of, of solar generation or that that would be a business that might generate revenue for the township? Is that a, should that be a concern or should we just say, no, we're happy the way things are and let's keep it that way? Where might we put it? Well, that's, that's, that would be the issue, of course. <clears throat> On every barn and house that has a south-facing roof, the assumption that solar is to be in centralized fields is one mindset. There are people in the solar industry who have a very different view that it should be decent. Much, they're not against mm -hmm. solar farms, but that there's centralized profit in solar farms, and whereas it could be much more homeowner profit uh, in a decentralized system, and we will have a grid that I won't go into that. Okay. But I it, think that, that's that a is, good response. For solar, about it. Yeah. But we're not uh, anti-solar. We're anti. So we're not I'm, anti I'm a period, big fan of the Farm Science Review each year, mm -hmm. and there are vendors there that are pushing, and, and I assume selling uh, arrays on people's barns. Mm -hmm. Yeah, I imagine. Uh, mm -hmm. And that's that's significant. Mm -hmm. You can. Well, well, I guess we make could put money at putting solar panels on your barns. Let's put it. We could put it on the Grinnell Mill. <laughs> did you have? Do you have enough? Did, kind of shady. Is down the mill there. taller than the trees? Mm, not so much. Well, no, no, we also oh, keep, ahead, keep in mind we also control two and a half acres of South Glen directly across Grinnell Road from the mill. So in theory, we could cover that two and a half acres with solar panels. Boy, mm -hmm. you know what would happen. <laughs> yeah. We have an ironclad 100 year, 99 year lease on it. And, and each of us has a 40 year lease. <laughs> <laughs> each of us has a 40 year lease. What's interesting, and I wonder if it'll come around, is that you know you sit there and you cover your roof with it's solar panels. Enough, You've huh? roofed your house now. You don't, you're, in other words, you, if you with a little bit more planning, the solar panels could be your roof. And you don't well, actually there have are that. There are now shingles, shingles yeah. that are solar, solar panels. So there's some other and kinds of integrating the whole system well, in your house. Our house was built with a, a southern exposure. That has, over the 30 years that the house has been there, there's no longer a southern exposure. <laughs> because of the trees. Because tree. trees grew up. Well, I was going to say, the house turned. <laughs> <laughs> That's not okay. Anything else for zoning? Uh, zoning um, yearly zoning seminars uh, December. This is, I know that we just got a notice of that. And I said, boy, that's early for planning. But yeah, the, the um, who is it? It's it's the Miami Valley uh, Planning something. Planning something. Yeah, puts it on. It's a it's a national organization. The Miami Valley chapter puts it on every year. But right now, it's just save the date. They're not telling us anything about what they're offering. So, what kinds of things do they feature? Uh, some good stuff and some. Uh, they you, they they always have a keynote speaker mm -hmm. on a timely subject. So it's general, generally worthwhile. Generally worthwhile. The keynote speaker, though, might be on public transportation, and it tends to be a lot more municipal oriented than it does rural. But then they have sessions, a wide choice of sessions, four times during the day. And there's a, almost always something in every one of those sessions that would interest anybody in, in local, local government mm -hmm. but, and on the planning end of things. Uh, but sometimes you've already had that session, you know, you don't, don't need it again. Yeah, every I used to go regularly, mm -hmm. and then it sort of seemed to get a little more repetitious, or at least I wasn't bringing home as much useful information. So I haven't gone though. But I haven't also, our uh, BZA and Zoning Commission 
are either people that work during the day and can't go, or, you know, again, feel like they know as much as they want to know. So I haven't been escorting people like I used to. All right. And it's good for networking, too. Mm -hmm. yes. So, standing commission reports for next meeting. Uh, new business this evening. Any new business before the board? Um, yeah, I'm right. planning on uh, writing a letter in support of the senior housing project. Mm -hmm. And my question is, is there an opinion that the, the board has about it? You're writing, a, you're writing a letter for the board, for Miami Township? Right. Or, okay. Well, actually writing it for myself. Uh -huh. but, uh, to who? Well, to the, the, letter it'll be the letter to the editor. Oh, newspaper. To, yeah, yeah, newspaper. Uh, I was assuming when you said that it would be a... <clears throat> Some kind of supportive letter for a grant application. Mm -hmm. No. Unfortunately. Well, I, I have no doubt that whatever you would say would be absolutely perfect and representative of, 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 of my feelings also. You know, if, if you had the time, mm -hmm. if you want to run a buy a draft to any of mm -hmm. us and see if there was anything that more or something. less, that's okay. fine, but yeah. certainly not. Uh, that's something I've ever done. <laughs> I was Sorry. like, I would like the, I'd be happy for the trustees to sign a letter or something. I have but it, I'd um, like to see it before I yeah. said yeah. How about I have it for the next meeting? And that way everybody can see it and sign off. Tape it to the table and there's a little mm -hmm. Yeah. Whenever it's ready. Okay. Any old business this evening? I don't know what little old business there is. Anything further before the board? It's a good one. <laughs> Hearing none, I entertain a motion to adjourn. I so move. All right. We're done. We're targets.